So I just removed, well, lifted out, I guess it's kind of still in the car, the engine. I lifted out the engine from the Porsche, as you can see. Boy, that was difficult. There was a lot of, um, actually, there really wasn't that many steps. It's just something I've never done before, so um, that in it, in it alone made it difficult. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really have much to say other than this is a pretty huge victory. So, um, there's the drive shaft, there's the bell housing, there's some fluid dripping onto the ground, that's probably not good. So, um, I guess I'll talk about what I had to remove. The I didn't follow the manual at all, really. Um, I have the Haynes manual and the Porsche shop manual, and um, they had some good advice, but it their advice or their steps rather involved removing the transmission dropping it pushing the torque tube back and just sounded like a lot of work um so on the forum 920 924 board.org um four members on there talked about a different way of removing the engine that involved um taking out the cross member which i have laying in the garage somewhere i don't want to go find it um and then dropping the cross member with the rack and dropping the exhaust altogether. The exhaust is laying under the car right now. Um, detaching the, the torque tube, taking the four bolts out, and um, taking off the engine mount. The I see the, the driver's side engine mount. Actually, here, let me reach down and get it. So this is the driver's side engine mount. Um, I don't think you have to remove this, but I did because it was pissing me off. So I removed it. It normally would go over here as all those all all those holes. Jesus. Um, so I removed that, um, took the nut off the bottom of the exhaust side um, engine mount, lowered the, lowered the engine down, pulled it forward, and um, that's really where it got difficult because I for some reason I just figured that I'd be able to just pull the, the engine off the drive shaft. But you really have to wiggle it around because um, this is from a different angle. Oh, you can't see because of the light. Um, the drive shaft has splines. And um, since uh, the weight is off balance, I guess, um, you really have to wiggle the engine off the splines um, and be careful without damaging anything. So um, once it comes off the splines, the engine, you gotta be careful because the engine really just wants to lurch forward because you're probably given a lot of pressure to get it off the splines. So yeah, it's been, it's, it's been quite the journey. You could probably get this done in a day, maybe an afternoon if you're really good. Without a doubt, the most difficult part is the exhaust because the exhaust on these cars are sons of bitches. They're not something that you want to go into the car and play around with. Um, but once you drop the exhaust, everything is easy from there. So um, that's pretty much it. So hope you liked it.